Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel Z here and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at the Blitzwolf BWSDB1 36 inch smart soundbar. So as I was unboxing this soundbar I actually noticed that it was quite heavy and quite large. Again it's 36 inches of speaker. So I would say that this weighs roughly around 7 to 8 pounds. Again it is quite heavy. So you have a total of six speakers and two woofers. So at the top right, you have two speakers. And then on the side of that, you have one woofer. And then on the left side, you have the same setup. And then in the front, you've got one speaker on the right and then one speaker on the left. So a total of six speakers and two woofers. Let me take you to the back now and show you some of the ports on this soundbar. So now taking you through the ports on this device. So first of all, you have HDMI ARC. Your TV does need to support HDMI ARC in order for this to work. Basically ARC stands for Audio Return Channel. So essentially you can control the audio on the soundbar with one remote. Um, and that is with your TV remote. So you don't actually need to use the remote from the Blitzwolf uh, soundbar. Again, you do need to have that HDMI ARC on your TV as well. The next port we have here is the USB port. This is if you had a... USB drive with some music on there. You can essentially plug that into this port and you can play music off that drive by, as you can see, you have this play pause button right there and that should work. The next port we have here is an auxiliary port that uses the 3.5 male to 3.5 male. So you can plug that into your TV if you have one of those cables and if you have a headphone jack on your TV. Now, if you don't, then you could also use the RCA to 3.5 uh, adapter. So basically you plug the 3.5 end into the soundbar and then you plug the right and left uh, RCA cables into the into your TV, assuming you have them. Um, most televisions have these ports, so you should be okay with that. But if you don't have this, then you might wanna move on to the next port or the next uh, type of way of connecting the soundbar to your TV and that is with optical. So most TVs have optical, so you just uh, grab your optical cable. This ships with an optical cable, so you can just grab it, plug it into the port here, and then plug that into the port on your TV, and you should get audio with that uh, via that cable. Now if you don't have that port on your TV, which is unusual, then you can always go for coaxial. So this coaxial, most older TVs use coaxial, so you should be fine with that. You just grab your coaxial cable, plug that into here, plug that into the back of your TV, and you should get audio coming out of there. Additionally, this soundbar also supports a wireless Bluetooth, and the version on it is 4.2. So if your TV has Bluetooth, you can pair the two together, and you can get audio coming out via Bluetooth, which is very convenient. Additionally, you can also pair this with your laptop, with your computer, and also with your phone if you have Bluetooth on those, which you probably do. Now I'm gonna take you through some of the buttons in the front here and I'll, I guess, show you an overview of this speaker or, or this soundbar if you wanna call it that. So anyway, let's get to that. So a quick overview of the buttons. So firstly, you have the on off button. The next button here is the source button that will switch up between Bluetooth, auxiliary, uh, coaxial, optical, etc. Next two buttons is the volume up and volume down buttons. And that's all covered by one piece of silicone, which I kind of would have preferred if they would have all been kind of separate as opposed to just one sheet of silicone, as you can tell, because when you do move it around, it does kind of, uh, doesn't give a good impression. That's basically what I'm trying to say. The sound quality on this soundbar is really nice. It gets mighty loud and the bass is pretty good as well. It's not too punchy, but it's very present. So just like I gave you a sample of what this soundbar sounded like in the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you a sample as well towards the end of this video. And again, the soundbar does get mighty loud. The onboard microphone on my Panasonic G85 does this no justice, but anyway, hopefully you'll get an idea of just how loud this thing gets.
So just an example, let me show you guys how simple it is to pair this uh, soundbar with your, uh, let's say, if you are using an iPhone 6. So first of all, we're going to turn on um, the soundbar by pushing the on button. Alternatively, you can also push the on button on the, uh, on the actual soundbar. Next, we're going to go into Bluetooth mode by tapping on the Bluetooth button. As you can see, the blue LED is now on. If you're not able to find the soundbar with your phone, you might want to hold Bluetooth until you heard that alert. And as you can see, the LED, the blue LED is now flashing a lot faster. I'll zoom in, hopefully my camera is going to pick that up. So that's, that's now in discovery mode. It's now on my phone. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Bluetooth. And as you can see on the list, I'm going to search for BWSTB1 and that's going to go ahead and pair up. So now I am now paired and let me just show you guys that it is paired and it is working. I must say the audio does sound pretty good. Pause that for now. The last thing I wanted to show you with a soundbar is it does ship out with a remote. The remote does feel nice in the hand, it has a good amount of weight to it, doesn't it doesn't feel cheap. So you have the on button, you have the EQ button, which I'll show you right now what that does. So it's presets. It equalizes uh, depending on what you want uh, coming out of your soundbar. So if you're listening to mu news, you might want to put it on the news EQ mode. If you're if you're watching sports, you might might want to do that. Movie. Movies, music. and then music. Anyway, that's pretty much it. The only con that I can think of with this soundbar is it has no outputs. So if you wanted to, let's say, plug in a pair of earphones, so that you can listen to your TV with a pair of earphones, you can't do that with this soundbar. It just it won't work. There are no outputs. Otherwise, this is a pretty good soundbar for the price, especially if you have garbage sound coming out of your TV and you want to upgrade it with a budget, simple, low profile speaker system, then I guess this would be it. This would also work well if you had a laptop or a desktop and you wanted something low profile. Anyway, I'll drop a link to where you can purchase this in the description below. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.